right. How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Iowa Hawkeyes baseball. Of course, we got up to number 20. We're just a little bit over two team, two star team prestige and uh, two and oh on the season. I don't remember because I had the idea in my head of changing it down to like five or six innings. And there is no six innings, so it's it's only five or seven. So I changed it down to seven innings. Now, I had this idea, and I don't know if I did it on the last stream because it was already set at five. But I moved it to seven because I think a couple less innings a game is going to keep me um, maybe not like sane, but like it, it'll just be a little bit nicer for me, I think. <laughs> Honestly, that was one of the big reasons why I wanted to do. Um, I I didn't get around to replacing all the teams with a different uh, deal because uh, I wanted it to be a five inning type uh, type deal. Let's see here. First game here. God, I hate this D minus crapola. I just don't have anything. We don't get an alt jersey. I don't think there is alt jerseys, to be fair. I'm pretty sure that's not a thing. And yeah, they got some nicer jerseys. Oh, we're at uh, we're at their park, so just keep it as is. <clears throat> There we go. Yeah, I would love to. I'd love the idea of um, just being down to five innings. I feel like five innings just isn't quite enough. That's why I would have liked to have six, but I'll take the. I'll take seven. Seven's a little bit better than nine. Need to kick down San Diego Studios door, force them to make a college baseball. At this point, I don't know if I want San Diego Studios to. Oh shit! I feel like this. I feel like this camera angles. Mm, it's probably about what it was, but where's? Uh, camera, camera. I don't think it's visual options. Oh, okay. Uh, three. Four. Four? Four, I think, might be. Is hitter's eye basically what we were what we were looking at? It looks like it looks like the same style. Oh right, I did just kind of screw up the camera on the other thing, didn't I? Did I see maximum football team reveals? Uh I haven't seen much, but I did see um hang on. I'm really I'm just trying to mess with this. Uh yeah, because I like the pitching Pitch six bat. Uh, I'm gonna move it back to four. I think, I think moving it back just a little bit. I think that's different than what I usually had it, but oh. I think the four looks nice. Um, I did see Ryan Moody's um, deal on uh, some of his favorite teams, and I think uh, he was talking about like Iowa Central, and I was like, oh, that's dope. <clears throat> I'm definitely, I'm definitely uh, interested in it, and uh, I'm interested in maybe doing something with it. Especially, oh, that's odd. Hang on. Once again, uh, the visual options, uh, hot cold zones. Now keep that on. Keep the pitch cursor on. I don't know why it, it faded like that. There we go. But it looks like a, it looks it looks cool. I'm 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 kind of hesitant, but also I'm like, okay, let's see what Maximum Football has started to do. <coughs> oh, sorry. <coughs> trailer for the game comes out tomorrow that's cool 
the logo editor um, is a lot more primitive than I thought it would be, um, which I don't know how to feel about that, but eh, it's a logo editor. I'm I'm excited to get it and uh maybe Axis football as well. Um I I've been liking what I see from both games. That's that's what I'll do instead of uh <laughs> I can I could spend I could spend well, I assume Axis will probably remain 20 bucks maybe, but I'd rather spend the 50 bucks on a couple different football games than um <coughs> couple different football games than uh, Madden, which with both I think I'll have more fun with. Oh, a little high. Trying to deal with this coughing crap. There you go. He's like, Jesus. Oh, crap. I'm going to have to try to remember... See, every time I put this I put this game down for long enough and I didn't have to really remember how to uh how to do the game. Okay, I think I remember how to advance bases. Oh shit. Go back, go back, go back, go back. Uh, I probably could have gone to no, he wouldn't have made it to third. Get down, get down, get down, get down. The runner ignored the sign at third. I didn't hit the right button. <laughs> Look, editors, you could finally make the team you always want to make the Tucson douches. Nope. Oh, fuck. <laughs> There you go. He's got it. He's on with a single. Ball right down the middle, and it's a good approach at the plate. So two runs. I feel like Gradleville got worse since last year. I feel like he definitely was at least a little bit better. But I'm not too I'm not too worried about it considering we've got uh, three on the board already. Just drop. Oh my god. I like all these shallow hits into uh, out the outfield there. I also love the fact that there was just no effort put on that play. There you go. That's gonna. <laughs> Jesus, we're in the first inning there, or second inning, sorry, and they're already warming up the reliever. No faith, huh? Hey, you know what I should try to do? I should try to do. Um, I want to do the return to sim options. I want to try. I want to try do it because I think I did this once before. I want to. Uh, I think five. I think five runs will be my twenty points in college hoops, where I can still jump back in if need be. Okay, I don't need to jump back in. <laughs> I think five runs will be my uh, twenty points for this game. Where I'll hit the sim bar, and um, if if uh, I need to jump back in, I can jump back in. Is there progression in this game? To the best of my knowledge, there is. But I think I think we're a worse team than we were last year by the simple fact that we lost so many dudes. <coughs> Well, that was a quick game.
We're not even 10 minutes in. We're on game two because of the fucking balling out second inning. Yeah, I like that. I like this this five run rule. That way, I don't have to waste people's time. It's interesting that we're getting bat on ball and we're doing as well as we have against them. Now, of course, they're not a great team, but we're an even worse team. But the greatest part about it is we're not even getting – we're barely ever getting even halfway out into uh, – like that's about the farthest this is that ball's going to go is about halfway into uh, out the outfield. National championship run. To be fair, I think we did take a a really bad version of this team, a D minus team, and win the national championship the first year or the College World Series. Slices <clears throat> foul. A. Oh, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. Go, 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 go. Easy triple. And there's the first run of the game. The extra bases right <clears throat> off the bat. You can see the hitter thinking triple. Speed never <laughs> Very, very nice. One on one out. Ah. Drop, 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 drop. There you go. Oh my goodness. Is on with an RBI Did I blow out Notre Dame? I don't think we faced Notre Dame yet. I don't, I don't think that was the previous uh, thing. Go. Was it Notre Dame that we beat? I don't even remember who our first couple games were against. Ah, damn it. Well, good try. Ooh. Number 57 is the starter today. His pitch list consists of a four seam fastball, a curveball, a 6.2 innings, and 1.35 ERA. <clears throat> I got to say, that's pretty good. Uh oh. It didn't save it. But yeah, I've been I've been looking up a bunch on uh Oh. Ooh. How he kept his foot on the bag for that one. Nobody on base and one gone. There's a fastball. Swing and a miss. Yeah, I'm kind of uh awaiting maximum football. The only thing I'm not a big fan of is the fact that A it's not on the PC. I would like it to be on that. And then B, um, they tried to get um, Switch certification, which would have been fantastic. A football if, if EA doesn't seem to care about, to be fair, I don't care about Madden being on the Switch because they're probably just as bad as their FIFA games. But... Um, if there's no like, there's no real good like, uh, you know, football game on the Switch. At least something that's not some like NES throwback. So that'd be really cool. Whoops. Oh yeah, it didn't save the uh, the last one, the last deal either. Um, there we go. Oh. Breaking hit towards second. I think I need to get a cough drop. He's on with a single. Ugh. 
It always feels so weird being up at this time of night. Oh, fuck. Yeah, I, it's weird how it didn't pass Nintendo certification. And it's like, shit, dude. Do you know how many, like, garbage mobile games are on the Switch right now? Now, I know a lot of the big difference is they're like 3 to $5 uh, Switch games at best as compared to a... Thirty dollar, um, thirty dollar uh, football game, <clears throat> but I feel like the fact that they let some that obviously like, I guess the big difference is like two K is obviously a huge company. So if two K wants to put something on their on their switch, they're gonna allow that. But the fucking WWE two K port. The one that was so bad, we didn't get 19, and we're not going to get 20 on the Switch. Shit. But I'll, but for some reason, the, that football game, you know, maximum football didn't. You know what? Maybe maybe if it has a pretty good year this year on uh, PS4 and Xbox, they'll have a little bit more leverage to say, "Hey, look how look how uh, look how good that this did." I don't know what he thought going all the way that far out there. Of course, he's injured. Um, I mean, he's the other catcher, so go on out there. He's not that good, is he? Eh, he's all right. There we go. Cloudy Main Twitch subscribed at Tier 1. You subscribed for five months. Thank you so much, Cloudy Main Twitch. Greatly appreciated. I really shouldn't have swung at that, but hey, if it works, it works. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Ah, suck it. I didn't think he was even going to make it to third, and then he bobbled with the ball, and then he screwed up the throw. Is that did that count as an error? Yeah, of course it did. Runner at second with two out now. Oh and one. Oh shit! Drop, 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 drop. No. Oh. He tried. The one time we decided to have a actual powerful hit just hung in the air way too long. <clears throat> but yeah, I, I'm wondering if uh, Maximum Football 2019 does well on uh, Xbox and PlayStation. If uh, that'll have Nintendo maybe look at it next year. Just be like, yeah. You've, you've proven yourself. My question would be if um, either, um, you know, if, if either Maximum Football or Axis Football has that sort of, um, what's the word? Uh, it, it, it's been optimized enough to actually run on it. Or what type of um, liberties they'd have to take with, with uh, putting it on a Switch. I think it would sell extremely well. I mean, Super Mega Baseball 2. I don't know. I don't know um, how many units they sold on the Switch, but I do know it was like a top 20 game the week it came out. If not better. Just saw your first New Japan show live in person. It was amazing. Wow. Sounds cool, dude. Where was, where was that at? Was it in Japan? That was very, very close. About half a step ahead. Number 16 is up. Tacoma, Washington, Super Jacob. Oh, my God, I forgot about that.
I forgot that they were actually in America again. There's a ground ball to the second baseman. Second baseman. Ah, there you go. Oh, damn. I want to I want to see the replay on that one. Really? All right, I'll take a look at the replay. I want to see how close that was. Hey, Wildcats fan, what's up? All right, I'll move it over here so I can see how close that was. Dropped it. Eh, it was about half a step. He was still half a step ahead. Damn. You know, I don't know if they've announced a lot of their Japan shows far enough in advance. But I don't think I'm going to see a New Japan show when I'm actually in Japan. I think they're either going to be away from the area or doing something else. Not much. Uh, I've been napping. A lot of napping. No one's there. Pitcher took way too long getting over there. <clears throat> ah, crap. Yeah, I was I was ridiculously tired yesterday and um I took a nap and yeah, it was like three plus hours. <clears throat> May get some water probably after this game. Ah, that should have been that should have been perfect. I actually um Oh, pretty excited for Jeff Sports Pro Basketball. Interesting. I always get the... I forgot that I had signed up for the Wolverine Studios uh, newsletter, despite the fact I think I've maybe bought, like, one game off of them. Am I excited for football season? Um, I'll be honest. Um, I mean, I like football, but I, I mostly... When it comes to football, I mostly only care uh, for... Um, the Vikings and then whoever's on my fantasy team, which I don't think I'm going to be doing fantasy football this year, not through a decision of my own, but through a decision of the uh, guy who runs the league. And to be honest, I'm kind of, I'm kind of, uh, it's kind of amazing that it took like six or seven seasons for uh, the reasons why he, he, he has not activated our league yet. And probably won't this season. <clears throat> oh, oh my God! You got blacklisted, huh? Blacklisted. What happened? I feel like I feel like I. Said something, and now I immediately forgot the things I said. Oh, okay. I feel like either I said something and I don't remember, or you made a joke and I didn't understand. Oh, from the uh, oh, from the uh, uh, fancy football thing. No, no, no. It's not. It's not. Uh, it's not like something. Yeah, it's. <laughs> Okay, the basic the basic thing is um, everyone because I actually work with a couple of the other it, it, we all we all used to work on the same shift in the same relative area, and um, the guy who runs it married uh, teenage daughter I think she's almost an adult at this point uh, he loves women and not only does he love women he loves women as wide as they are tall. His preferred, his preferred shape, I feel, is a circle. Um, <laughs> nothing wrong with that. Uh, there is something wrong with it when you're married with a uh, kid. 
And I've also found out through him that you can get away with a lot of shit at the post office. I I have I have realized that at this day and age you have to like you have to try to get fired there. Like you have to like be a real don't show up for work, don't do anything piece of garbage to get yourself uh, there's a difference between like getting, you know, laid off or something and then getting straight up fired once you deal like once you get in like when you're a temp worker, it's easy. Once you end up being like a career person, you kind of have to try. And uh, yeah, because this is uh, <coughs> he is uh, he's one of the reasons why I found out that you can actually get caught um, having uh, <coughs> relations in the basement of a building and still have your job there. And you can get caught on three different occasions and still have your job there. Takes a fastball for a called strike. You should watch Puchari Joshi Pro. Huh. I don't think I've ever heard of that. The runner goes. This inning is over. Oh, never mind. Uh, Imani from Gambara Pro basically really loves the BBW, so he made a promotion where he gets to wrestle them. <laughs> That's amazing. I just realized it's six nothing. Why am I still here? <clears throat> of course, Yuna is the ace. I don't think it would be. I don't think anyone would have it any other way than to have Yuna as the ace. Um. Yeah, let's just fix that. He fucking hurt his forearm sliding into second base. To be fair, uh, I did Road to the Show. I did my own personal offline Road to the Show uh, on 18. And I actually injured myself two, two separate seasons in the AAA baseball doing that. Where I like broke my hand and was out for two months. And it was the final two months of the season. And then I did another thing where I like fucked up my knee after sliding into second. You got a Takis ad. Interesting. Also, hello. What do you want? If we hit a home run as a team in the series against UConn, might be able to pick up some. I mean, I guess we'll accept. I don't see it happening. We're, we haven't been big on. You know what? Are we at home against UConn? Because that that's a big that's a big difference maker here. Oh, we got three home games. Okay. Yeah, this is possible then. <clears throat> Let me look at the recruiting real quick. Do I have I have points? Let me look at the interested prospects. I should probably do something with some of these players too. Um, where are the targeted players we've been doing? Okay. Let's see. Phone call or recruiting package. Email. There. Uh, send coach to scout. Recruiting package. Email. There we go. Now we'll have an idea. He looks to be extremely skilled too, so that's that's good. I don't like the fact that I I probably should be having more than two guys, maybe even more than three for um for stuff like this, but that's all right. And the fuck you get caught three times and not get fired? I don't I don't understand. Well, okay, I understand your question. I don't understand how. The fact is, all right, I'll 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 come. That's not even the craziest part. I'm going to mute my mic. I'm going to go get some water real quick and I'll be right back.
There we go. Okay. Sorry to just leave in the middle of that, but oh my God, I was like dying of <clears throat> needing something to drink. All right. Let's see here. Alexander, our best guy, our best pitcher. Um, okay. Four and oh compared to one and six is nice. Does he literally have an ERA of zero? That is amazing. And because we're at home. Ooh. I forgot about the authentic ones on here. So <laughs> Uh, let's see. Uh, ballpark. There we go. Try to move the fan over by me so I can get some air. Basically, what it is at the post office is that you can get a job there, there a <coughs> and take not exactly a grunt work position, but a fairly low level, like, it's one of the, like, I have one of those jobs that... Like, you don't have to, you don't really take your work home with you. It's nice. Like, I just, <coughs> wow, do I have to start a coughing fit now? Sorry, hang on. Visual options. I'm going to mute real quick. Sorry, I'm just mildly dying. <clears throat> Give me one second. <sighs> Fuck. I was doing fine, like, all day. It's only when I, like, get home and decide I'm going to actually stream, that's when my throat is like, yeah, we're going to close up on you right now. <clears throat> <clears throat> So you could take basically a job where you don't really, where you have like personal responsibility at work, but realistically, it's not one of those things where it's like, they're going to, you know, like you have to worry about things outside of work. Like that's, it's, it's great. It's great. Cause I only have to worry about making sure I get to work and then do my job and then go home. And then I don't have to worry about it until the next day. And you can make a good living doing it. At least where I live. I don't know what the uh, pay structure looks like. Uh, other more expensive places. Uh, but at least here in the Midwest, it is nice. <clears throat> but it is some manual work, usually. Sometimes there's some desk jobs. Like, I used to have a desk job. I left it because the hours were crap. The days off were nice. Having uh, weekends off was nice, but... <coughs> working three to midnight. That's why I was doing all my overnight streams where I was starting at like three in the morning because it's just the shit hours I had. So there will, what, what it'll happen is just like any job, you'll have people who just want to, you know, do their job and work and there you go. That's it. And that's all they really that's all they really want is to just, you know, do the work they're supposed to and then leave. But then there's people who don't even want to do work when they uh, are there. So what happens is those people get into management. And they oh shit, this might be a home run. I think they count inside the Parkers. That's one of the things I was really happy about having. Um, I'm going to test it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. This is a chance. Got it. He didn't try to tag me. I thought he had me for sure. <coughs> I think they count inside the Parkers as home runs. So I think we got a, a home run. That was one of the big things I enjoyed about the fact that um, we were playing here. 
so like I said, a lot of people will um, they won't want to work, and then they'll get into management. I think I. No, okay, I got it. Because they want to make the extra money without doing work. Uh, meanwhile, like I said, you have a you have jobs at the post office where. If you're if you're just a normal person who just wants to to work and um, the union thing's also a big thing too, but yeah, a lot of people just want to some sometimes what it'll be is uh, the people who get into management end up being like the worst workers. Ooh, the reflexes. So the worst workers will be the ones that end up in management, and they won't get really better at being uh, a person. So that's how you end up with people who are like, I'm going to be who I was when I was a nobody, but still make management money. Yeah, it's, it's, um, it's, it's a weird thing. <clears throat> Is J.R. Jim Ross in commentary? Um, in this game, no. I don't know about just in general. <laughs> nice breaking pitch. So yeah, then what you get is you get a guy who you get you get people who love to uh you know fuck around at work and uh yeah, they'll they'll be able to stay there because the only types of people who want to get into management at the post office are generally not the great like the it, it's generally not great people there are a few i'm not generalizing all of them certainly <coughs> i'd say it's probably a 70 30 split on crap to actually decent being a manager is stressful oh yeah that's also one of the big reasons why is a lot of the workers like i said they just want to work like me, because I've had, because when I had my desk job, I had my supervisors who said, hey, I'm going to be, I'm going to be um, um, retiring in about two, three years. I think you would be good at management. And my response was, you're probably right, but I don't want it because that I don't want to deal with that stress. There's no need. <laughs> I you know I can I can make I can make you know 50 55 grand right now without having to deal with responsibility or too much stress outside really any stress outside of work or I could deal with all that stress and all that crap for 65 grand a year you know a lot of that just isn't worth the extra 15 or so thousand <clears throat> Also, I'm pretty sure they don't get paid overtime either, but they still work more than eight hours. So I could I could probably with as much overtime as I try to work, I could make probably almost as much as them by working, you know, 10 hours a day. Yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, ah, there's no there's no good reason to be to be in it so yeah it's it's amazing to yeah get caught three times and not get fired the greatest part is is he went to like uh one of the local uh because okay there's a difference between uh what they call plants and what they call stations plants is where stations is where a lot of people probably like when you think of going to the post office where you're going to is a station where you can actually go and mail your 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 packages and pick up letters and they have all the little boxes for PO boxes and all that. That's a station. Uh, a plant is uh, where I work, which is, um, you know, a a um, it, it's a, a a sorting facility that you know takes all the stuff in from an area and then sorts it out and takes it to the stations. So he was at a plant. And then he ended up going to a station because they needed 
they needed someone there and they couldn't have him in the plant anymore because he kept getting caught in the basement. And then he gets caught again with another woman <laughs> at one of the stations. <laughs> And this just happened a few months, just a couple months ago. <coughs> uh, so now he's at like a different station, I guess. So they moved him from like one of the worst stations around the area to, I think, the worst station in the area. And uh, I think this latest one, his wife found out about it, and I think he's getting a divorce. And that's why I'm not doing fantasy football this year. <clears throat> but as far as I know, he's still at that at that station because it just happened a couple months ago. So he's still employed. Yeah, it's really something. Damn it. Ah, poo. So that's the story of of why I don't I'm not playing fantasy football this year is because the person who's in charge of it is going through a divorce. I don't want to be that guy. Hey, he's you know what? He's he's got a nice house. He makes good money. He made good money. Caught doing what? Ah, uh, oh, fuck it. This isn't exactly a PG stream. Having sex. He was. Uh, it, it was always with another manager. The one thing that probably would have gotten fired is if it was like a manager employee thing. But it was like um, always another manager. Well, at least we're doing okay right now. There we go. Nice breaking pitch. Let's just say TOS stuff. <laughs> when a man loves a woman very much. Oh, 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 I was like, okay, it's a foul. And then I'm like, oh, that's, that's hanging in the air a little bit. Wow. I think, I think we got that one to go our way. All right. You're doing this stream really late. Yeah. I wouldn't if it wasn't for the fact that uh, I, I took, like, a long nap when I got home from work. So, Number 44 is really throwing the ball well <coughs> taking a long nap when I got home from work means I, I am ending up being up late. Or at least my, my um, what's, the, what's the word? My uh, sleep schedule shifts a little bit. Whoops. Surprised he wasn't fired the first time? Uh, I'm not. <laughs> By the way, what's up, NFL 2K? Try out the NBA 2K20 demo. I I haven't yet, um, mostly because I'm a PC player, and uh, they don't have that for PC players. Us, us poor PC players don't get the benefit of a, uh, of a demo. <clears throat> Not to mention, I, I thought it was kind of funny that I saw the whole building process of like, oh, you could build your whole player and blah, 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 blah. And they have like these graphs and stuff. And like I end up seeing a whole thing about it. And I remember seeing someone point out, I'm like, I was kind of hyped about it at first. I was like, oh, this is really cool. It's really in-depth and really nice. And someone mentioned that they were just like, 
Oh, they just redress the archetype crap. I'm just like, oh. Yeah, that makes sense. They really did just redress the archetype stuff, didn't it? Except they made it a graph instead of whatever. That was a little high. <clears throat> Every time I try to get hyped for something like that, it's just, uh, I don't know. Totally understand when he came from school, he took a nap and it was four, and he woke up, it was eight. Yeah. All right. Now you got to throw me a strike. Not being fired for the first time, yeah, very surprising. <laughs> or, okay, just walk me. <coughs> yeah, NBA, NBA 2K is starting to go the way... At like WWE 2K is is not as bad, um, but I think NBA 2K is starting to go the way of EA for me, where it's like okay, I might I might start changing from buying it every year to buying it every other year or so. Usually, the idea of buying something every other year uh, is the first step before I just decide to stop buying it. So, I'm at a point right now where I'm thinking, uh, eh, you know what? Maybe I'll just wait for 2K21. I'm not, I'm not holding out hope that it's going to get better, but I might enjoy it a little bit more. The demo is one game. That's it. Yeah. Ugh. Didn't wasn't last year used to have a whole prelude. I will say the one thing that got me hyped, <clears throat> the one thing that did get me hyped was the idea that you do a draft combine and you try to get drafted, but I feel like it wasn't done. It, it just even looking through the trailer, it doesn't look like it was done like how it used to be. I don't know. I feel like. I feel like it should be super, super simple to go, hey, listen, here's some showcase games, like what they used to do. Here's some showcase games. Here's a draft combine. Improve your draft stock. Try to get drafted. If you kind of suck at it, um, you'll get drafted lower. You won't get as many minutes. Maybe when they eventually have a full G League, you can get set back down to the G League. That was really cool about 2K11. Was the idea of like, hey, if you kind of suck, you'll go down to the G League, and um, you know that's that's where you'll be until you can get better. Oh, <clears throat> uh, I don't think he's gonna get there. <clears throat> Oh, that was good. But yeah, I feel like it shouldn't. It's not. Oh, did he get it? Oh, nice. But I feel like it shouldn't be too hard to like. I, I'm glad that it looks like. Well, OK, it, it actually still looks like they're doing kind of a dumb story. And. And uh, I felt like last year, last year, the story was at least kind of compelling, but they really did a, a horrible job of making it look like you actually have choices when you really don't like they had all those choices that you do in the game. That's I want to bring up a gripe about 2K 19's 2K 19's story is that it's very linear, despite all the choices that you claim to be able to have. I think my favorite part is the the is when you get cut from your G League team. Uh, that that cut scene where it's like you go out to shoot fireworks, that eventually burn down the hotel and get you cut from your G League team. <laughs> if you if you remember, uh, it gives you a choice whether or not you go out or not. And like, if you go, if you choose to go out and shoot fireworks, that you shoot fireworks, and you know all the things happen, you get cut from your G League team. If you decide not to do it, 
you just get a longer cut scene that warps back around to, okay, yeah, you're actually going to go out there. <laughs> I'm like, then where's the choice? Alexander is not having any problems with his delivery. He's doing some, he's doing some serious work with the strikeouts right now. His stamina is almost dead. Uh, I'm thinking I might warm up in the bo- uh, warm up the closer in the bottom of the sixth. <coughs> there we go. <clears throat> I know there's a way to do it here, right? Yeah. Let's let's warm up the closer. There we go. Yeah, I think I'm content with 2K14 right now and just modding, just working on mods for 2K14. I figured out the logos and the names and everything and I'm starting to figure out courts. I actually I actually made a custom court that wasn't exactly fantastic, but I'm looking up other ways to do it and now I found, you know, nicer nicer ways to do courts. So maybe just working on mods for 2K14 is just the way to go with that. <clears throat> oh, how fast is he? Oh, that's a home run. No, he's going to go home. There we go. This is why I love this stadium. They have the giant walls on the left and right side, but they have that big 420-footer all the way in center field. And if you can get it all the way back there and you just start running, you can maybe make it. Last year, your favorite one was Michael B. Jordan. I think that was 2K17. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. 2K17 wasn't terrible. 2K18 was terrible. 2K19 was all right. 2K19 was all right because I was a My League player and I enjoyed what they did this past year with the My League stuff. But I don't know if I like it enough to keep it around. (laughs) All right. Well, at least we ended that. All right. Time to close this game out. Where are you at? The Hawkeyes are making a <clears throat> I could probably give them a full seven innings, but I just want to complete the game. I want to. I want to get the win. I care more about the win than whether or not he does a full seven inning uh, no hitter. <laughs> I also just came to the realization that if I kept him going, I actually I actually feel kind of bad now because I just realized that I haven't had any walks, so he actually had a perfect game going through six innings. And then I'm just like, yeah, you're good, buddy. Thanks a million. Bye. Hit the shallow right. Well, Can't get a grip on the ball. there's the first hit of the game. <laughs> Man had a Jesus Christ. Gone. Oh, never mind. You're the closer. What are you doing? Maybe I should have kept the other dude in. The Huskies are making a substitution. Maybe I should have kept him in. He had a perfect game going through six innings. How many titles did you win with this team? I've just won one. And I almost, and then I lost in like the uh, the regional. It was either the regional or super regional uh, last year. I almost got to the main like um, I almost got to the main uh, college world series last year, but that didn't happen. I got I got ousted like a couple games short of uh, the college world series. Okay. First baseman just deciding not to go after that one. Breaking ball catches the plaque on the outside. 
This is it. This is it, man. Got it. Done. That's still good, though. It is. It is good. We have won a championship, and we've, like, I think we actually started at, like, pretty much zero star prestige. Like, it was barely anything, and now we're at two full stars, so... We're working our way up there. I do like that. I do like the idea that you can do that. I don't. I don't know if you can um, upgrade someone's prestige, in like I, I. I have to feel like you can upgrade someone's prestige in, like the NCAA football games, but I don't know. Because <coughs> I know they have prestige star ratings but i don't know if um it does anything i don't know if you can actually upgrade them as compared to this game <laughs> you can okay that's probably just me not playing NCAA football say as long as or as as well as I have this <clears throat> I figured you could probably upgrade their uh, like championship contender ratings and stuff like that I didn't know if you could actually push their star rating up I guess I'd never I never played enough to know the Huskies are one When WWE 2K20 comes out, will you play it? Um, I don't know. I I didn't get 2K19. Oh, God. I need to I need to remind myself to actually uh, change that permanently. Just barely. There we go. Um, I need to I need to make sure to change that in the options. A fly ball. I do I do like how in this game there is there are there is a certain level of um there's a certain level of um uh what is it prospect that you can have so, like, certain prospects are completely locked away to you until you can upgrade your prestige a little bit. I do like I do like that in this game. High fly ball to center field. The center fielder getting there and moving under. I was going to say, I think you could do it in college hoops, too. But I think college hoops is a little bit different in the fact that they don't really have, like, prestige star ratings for their teams. I don't even think there's like an official championship um, rating for teams in college hoops. If it is, it's not like it's like hidden away or something. That foul ball caught the catcher. So it's not like it's not like this game or or um, you know NCAA football where there's a quantifiable uh, number or. Something like that to see, like, oh, it's a three-star school. Went to Indiana in 2013, two seasons left to go to Kentucky, went eight and five, and he went 14 and won the national championship. Nice. Hang on. Oh, I need some water in my throat. <clears throat> Number two is up next. High fastball, couldn't catch up with it. You're out, just came to check. Okay. Well, thanks for coming by. I appreciate it. Oh, please drop fair. Thank you. Just off the edge of his glove. Connecticut has an infield that will get the job done more often than not. Oh, 
the infield, really, a lot of guys that are just oh. good baseball players. Not great, but just good. Right to the second baseman. He beat Arkansas State in the national championship. Nice. That's a that's a that's a team. Runner at second, one out. A ground ball headed for the hole. Throw to first. You know, when it comes to NCAA football fourteen, I don't mind playing it. I don't mind them. But also But also if if people aren't I, I don't know how many people are gonna do dynasties. I imagine there will probably be a good handful of people who will at least try Maximum Football's Dynasty. But uh, I feel like there's enough people who probably do like NCAA Football 14s that it'd be kind of neat doing like a custom thing. I feel like if, if enough people would rather see that than... EA's football, I'd be down for that. Plus, that can start limiting uh, how much I, I have to use my 360 anymore. Oh. There we go. Number two is up next. It's ah. fouled away. Uh, slider down here. Grounded right back. Ah, that'll work. Throw to first. Two down in the inning. Two out. Two out. And <sighs> I hate sometimes how I'm just not I mean I guess it just happens that you're never no one's ever going to be super talkative for like three hours hit on the ground toward the hole that one had eyes he's on with a single I did um <laughs> just randomly talking about my day I did go to um there's an Asian supermarket down the street from my work that I like to go to that I haven't been to in the last few months because the last time I went there, uh, this like older Egyptian guy, this older Egyptian guy noticed my uh, postal badge. And as it turns out, he used to work in the building that I was in and just hounded me for like my entire lunch break. Just walking with me as I'm shopping. Just like, you know, wanting me to help him get his job back because he got fired. And I'm just like, I can only help you so far. I can only help get you so far. Like, here's here's the number to you, to the union that you can maybe talk to. Leave me alone. Okay. Those are two bullshit strikes. Okay, the second one I can kind of take. The first one was not a fucking strike. <clears throat> so I haven't been there in a little bit. And uh, now if I go there, I take my badge off because it's like I'm, I'm not dealing with whatever craziness comes there. But I do like it. I, I picked up. I picked up a few things. My uh, my roommate was uh, mildly judgmental at the fact that I picked up some noodles. I picked up some uh, ramen noodles, and um, he's like, he's like, D are you eating ramen? I'm like, yeah. But they're like, I, I told him, but uh, I'm like, I got them at the Asian store though. These aren't like, these aren't like the cheapo top ramen or marachan ramen noodles that you pick up for like a quarter or less at, at Walmart. These are like at least more legit um, Japanese. Like it, it's obviously they probably don't. If they have it in Japan, it's probably cheapo Japan stuff too. But 
it, it's at least a little bit better. I like how it's better. Did he ever tell you how he got fired? No. Um, he just said, I, I don't know. I just got walked out one day. Like, he, he kind of refused to tell me why he said he was fired. Don't know why. Probably just being crap at your job. Which, I guess it really depends on uh, what type of employee he was. But, yeah, he didn't He didn't ever say. He just, like, threw up his hands. Not to mention, if he did tell me, I didn't really understand because he's got such broken English. <laughs> but, yeah. Never did say anything, but I haven't seen him since, which is good. But if I ever see him again at that supermarket, um, I'll make sure to have my badge uh, in my pocket and then just tell him that I got fired as well. <laughs> and I wouldn't, I wouldn't go there if they didn't make like fresh buns. Like they make like uh, fresh pork buns there that they leave out on a on a cart. You just kind of get like a paper bag and some tongs, and you can do that. They're really bready, but they're really good. There's a, well there's, a there's a superior Asian market um, on a, just a, a, like a mile or so away. Like it's actually about as far away, just in a different direction, in like the opposite direction. And I would go to that one if they actually made fresh food. Um, during my lunch hour. So that's the main reason why I go to that one. But yeah, it was nice. I forgot I forgot uh I forgot how much I liked um mochi. I guess it depends on what type of mochi you get because the last time I got mochi was probably at least a year ago and it was like green tea mochi. And I don't know, the brand of it wasn't that great. Um, but this time I got peanut mochi, and that was much better. And, uh, yeah, it actually had, like, uh, some some nicer things that it was, like, coated in. It didn't feel too dry. But, yeah, my roommate, my roommate was sort of judging my, my ramen. And I'm like, hey, these, even though they're like 89 cents or something, it's still like, it's still different brand. It's it's not like a ramen that you could just go to Walmart and get. Like, the, it's the kind of stuff that pretty much only exists at uh, Asian markets. <clears throat> and then I also had to remind him that uh, last week... I watched him take a can of SpaghettiOs and bread and make SpaghettiO sandwiches. <laughs> not not because, like, he has a weird taste in food. I think it's... Okay, so I think it's a combination of not having him not having a lot of, like, spare money and a weird taste in food. But I do know you can, I, I, like, with the money that he has, I know you can make, like, better food than just sp SpaghettiO sandwiches. It's like, I, I know you can do better. I've done better with that amount of money. So, yeah, he, he had to give me that. He's like, you know what? I, I understand. Hey, that was three outs. That's good. Kept things from getting too bad. So he had to he had to give me that that he was eating spaghettio sandwiches last week. So he doesn't really have a lot of room to talk. Number sixteen is aboard with a base hit. And on the ground to the That's a double play. Or we'll just take him out as yep. Has he ever eaten spaghetti tacos? I don't know. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of spaghetti. Actually, okay, so SpaghettiOs tacos sound gross, but spaghetti tacos, I'm like imagining it in my head right now. 
It doesn't sound like the worst thing imaginable. It's like depending on how you do it, I could see you like taking some spaghetti. I can see you taking some spaghetti, putting it in like a hard shell taco. Like a, you get like a hard sh- taco shell. You put a little bit of spaghetti in it, and then maybe you could get like uh, meatballs cut up or something. And there you go. I can see that. Is this TW 2020? It should be. It's the uh, it's it's a new gimmick where uh, everyone's a baseball player. Good bunt, real good bunt. There's a bunt, barehanded pickup over to first, and the crunchy spaghetti tacos. Like when you first say it, it doesn't sound good, and then when you put it in your head. That it's like, actually, the spaghetti is actually probably not be. Why did you still throw it at first anyway? The idea doesn't sound all that terrible. And then if you put it with, like, if you cut it up like meatballs and then put, you know, you can have the actual meat in there, it actually doesn't sound terrible. I think of one, what about mac and cheese sandwiches? I think it depends on... I feel like just mac and cheese as a sandwich wouldn't work. I don't know. I'm trying to think what the mac and cheese could go with. <clears throat> oh, yeah. He's also bought a uh, chili mac before, like a can of chili mac. And then uh, for the extra cheese, he got some uh, chili con queso, like a uh, tortilla chip dip. And put the con queso in with the chili mac. I can't. I can't even. I can't even pretend like that wasn't actually really delicious when I tried it myself. No, going for four. That's what they did on iCarly spaghetti tacos. Huh. Makes me feel old when someone mentions a show like iCarly. And it's like, fuck, I was too old for that. I know what it is. Fuck. But yeah. This one is hit to dead center field. One gone. All right. I think he might actually be able to finish out the game. Because where where is he at in the stamina department? He's at a 77. That's more than enough. See if he can pitch a complete shutout. Eh, Right about there. It was only you were only fifteen when it was on. God, how old was I? I don't even remember when it was on. Like I remember when it I, I remember it being on, but I don't think I had cable even at that point, so I was at least a teenager when it was on. Um, there we go. Shit. One and one. I think my younger sister might have watched it. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that was on the the list of things that she watched. That's why that's why there's a lot of that there's a lot of like um There's a lot of things that probably around that time I've actually seen, at least occasionally. Like, I on my own would have never watched Mean Girls. Wow. How high up was that? 
I on my own would have never watched Mean Girls, but I've probably seen it at least three different times because of my younger sister and her friends. And to be fair, it's actually not a bad movie. Rodriguez is really playing well. <clears throat> Fred special is way after the Fred character's peak. Oh God, I don't want to talk about the Fred, the Fred, the TV show, the movies, or anything. <coughs> That's how old I am. As I remember when Fred was just a YouTube thing, and like I remember, I was on that was I think when I was first on YouTube was the idea of like, oh, Fred will be, Fred will become the first. Uh, on his way to becoming the first YouTuber to hit a million subscribers. Rodriguez is on with a base hit. Back when having a million subscribers meant that you were the absolute king of YouTube. Nowadays, there's people with like 20 million subscribers I've never heard of before. It's always it's always kind of funny seeing a thing about like VidCon. Or the or the uh, YouTube Rewind, and they'll trot out all these like half a million to million and even two million subscriber count people for like VidCon or something like that. And there's so many people who's like, I don't even know who the hell this is. Oh, I meant to pull. I meant to pull that one. I didn't want to actually swing. That's all right. We got half an inning left. <clears throat> it's good we're at this part of the... Uh, hey... How was Ninja on YouTube Rewind? That's what I want to know. Of course, we all know he won't be on Twitch Rewind. <laughs> oh, my God. Can you imagine if Twitch actually does a Twitch Rewind at some point? Quickly in a hole. I'm actually surprised they haven't done that. I'm surprised Twitch hasn't tried to do some sort of like Twitch rewind or it's like, here's all our great people. Of course, I feel like Twitch rewind at this point with with all the sour grapes that's going around. It's just going to be some of their it's just going to be a lot of their top guys. It's just going to be Dr. Disrespect and Tim the Tatman just throwing knives at like a ninja poster for five minutes. Not even, not even like funny. It's just gonna be their top guys playing darts with Ninja's face. <laughs> ah, that was three outs already. Hey. <clears throat> well, this has been interesting because, yeah, conference standing first, we're number ten in the nation, which you'll probably change after this, but. Um, I'll probably just leave that be for right now. I'm actually surprised we managed to go 13, 13 to 1 against UMass. I don't even know what Wofford's going to be like, but I wish I could, I, I wish I could see what, uh, what the difference would be, but either way, six and O already, Jesus already coming back strong. Uh, it was a little bit. It was a little bit interesting uh, at first, and um, you know, it was a little bit. It was a little bit rough going. Where I'm kind of surprised it, it got it got as far as it did. But uh, yeah, we're definitely right back on track to uh, just having a strong season. Uh, Wofford Wofford looks like they're even worse off. Um. Furman's going to be a pain in my ass, it looks like. USC is definitely going to be a pain in my ass. So if I take if I take a, a loss here pretty soon, I could see myself maybe getting through the UConn game and maybe the Wofford games, but I feel like 
It's either going to be the Furman games, and it's I'm definitely not making it through USC, all of that, uh, or Long Beach, Auburn's, and maybe probably not Florida. Boy, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be having some interesting uh, some interesting games happening here. <clears throat> Save the dynasty. Um, God, I don't know what I'm going to play. I've been playing a few things that I don't know would translate well to stream. Like, I've been playing super hot. That might translate to stream. I bought Doom on my Switch. I don't know if that'll translate well, because it's not like I've... I haven't played... I haven't played Doom in fucking... Almost 20 years. I think when I first played it, I was like seven. So, yeah, that'd be 20 years. I think it's been like 20 years since I've actually picked up Doom again. Like old school Doom. <clears throat> uh, trying to think about what else I could do, though. The top girls in the die. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I might do, let me see, what time is it, 126, I might do a little bit of something, I'm not, a, I'm not exactly sure what, but I'm at least going to end the video here for those on YouTube, so if you're on stream, I'll, I'll probably think of something, even for just a little bit, but if you're on YouTube, this will be it, I thank you for coming out, greatly appreciate it, and I will see you next time.